Hello everyone. Let's continue with the unit of helical gear. Today we are going to discuss about the force analysis of helical gear. So for that, here we have cubical view of resolution of forces on helical gear. In case of helical gear, the resultant force F at a point of ca contact can be resolved into three component. One is the tangential, second is the radial and third is the axial component. So the resultant force F is acting in normal plane as you can see this plane clearly and which will be resolved into two components. Let us say this is the vertical component which is F r and one is the horizontal component now as this this horizontal component bc further resolved into two component one is the ft that is tangential and here is the fa axial component okay so this plane e d e d c f is the transverse plane so this plane is like this and this plane is the normal plane that is a b c e c f so angle between this transverse plane and normal plane at here we put angle between transverse plane and normal plane as alpha that is helix angle so here we get the helix angle angle between the transverse plane and normal plane so it is denoted by alpha then this is the normal in normal plane and this become the tangent at pitch point so this angle is the phi n that is pressure angle at normal plane similarly in case of transverse plane here we get a pressure angle phi t that angle e c d is the phi t angle between the tangent and normal we get that pressure angle phi t so in this way we get this three forces of FT, FR and FA axial forces and the angle between transverse plane and normal plane is alpha then here we get at normal plane we get a normal pressure angle at transverse plane we get a transverse pressure angle let's just take this triangle outside firstly EDC so let me draw so here we just take outside this triangle EDC now this angle ECD is phi t this DC is FT and so this is FR EFCT see in this plane FC is FR so ED is the equal side so it become fr so this ed is fr so we can able to calculate this tangential force using of torque so the tangential force equal to tau upon r so in this way we get the ft and by using of this triangle we can able to calculate fr so fr is the front edge ft is the adjacent edge here we have the pressure angle at transverse plane so how we can develop the relation for fr is fr upon ft is equal to tan of ft so fr is equal to ft tan of ft this is the equation for radial force in terms of transverse force now see this triangle BDC in that angle BCD is the alpha let's just take that triangle outside BDC so angle BCD is alpha and in triangle BDC See, in this plane B D C H the C H and B D is equal so C H is F A so B D is also F A okay and this D C is already F T so let's just put here D C is F T and this B H is F A 
so by using of this we can find out the relation for fa again fa is front is ft is the hypotenuse so axial force fa is equal to fa upon ft is equal to tan of okay so fa is equal to ft tan of alpha this is the relation for axial force in terms of ft now to get a relation between phi t phi n and alpha let's just consider this triangle a b c in that b a c b is phi n let us take that triangle outside a b c this a c b is phi n okay and this a b is equal to f r so a b is f r a c is f n that is the normal so here we have a c is f n so here we have f r f n and phi n you can use the symbol f also for the normal force so let's just find out equation for f r in terms of f n so f r is the front side so it is f r is equal to f n sin of phi n okay and b c is the adjacent edge so b c is equal to f n cos of phi n but see this figure b in this figure this b c can be calculated using of f t so what is b c using using this diagram that is f t is equal to b c cos of alpha because f t is the adjacent is so from figure b let's write f t is equal to b c cos of alpha okay so let's just put the value of b c in this equation so f t is equal to f n cos of phi n into cos of alpha remains as it is let us say this is equation 1 now again from figure b this f a can be calculated using of b c so f a is equal to b c sin of alpha because f a is the front side so again from figure b f a is equal to b c sin of alpha again we know the b c b c is f n cos of phi n so f a is equal to f n cos of phi n into sin of alpha this is equation 2 now divide this equation 2 by equation 1 so we get f a by f t is equal to equation 2 is f n cos of phi n into sin of alpha divided by f n cos of phi n equation 1 into cos of alpha so this f n f n get cancelled again cos of phi n cos of phi n get cancelled sin of alpha divided by cos of alpha is tan of alpha so f a upon f t is equal to tan of alpha so f a is equal to f t tan of alpha that we know already f a is equal to f t tan of alpha now let us consider f r is equal to f n sin of alpha is equation a so from equation a we can just calculate value of f n in terms of f r and sin of alpha so it is f n is equal to f r divided by sin of phi n so let's just put this value of f n in equation 1 so let's just write from equation a and 1 1 is here f t is equal to f n cos of phi n into cos of alpha so in this we are going to put the value of f n so we get f r is equal to f t cos of phi n into cos of alpha into sin phi n i'll just rearrange that term okay so 
sin of phi n divided by cos of phi n it is become tan of phi n divided by cos of alpha fr is equal to so fr upon ft is equal to tan of phi n divided by cos of alpha so, but we know that fr upon ft is equal to tan of phi t so tan of phi t is equal to tan of phi n divided by cos of alpha and or we can say that cos of alpha is equal to tan of phi n divided by tan of phi t this is the relation between the helix angle and the normal pressure angle and transverse pressure angle this is the very important relation comes from force analysis of helical gear